All right, what's going on, everybody? Uh, this is uh, Trev here, uh, and uh, today I'm going to be doing a video on converting a number from decimal or base 10 to its binary or base 2 equivalent. Okay, now this is a um, this is a topic that's uh, very interesting and it's used a lot in uh, computer science. So a lot of you uh, may be taking, uh, you know, uh, first year uh, computer science classes, or even possibly sometimes you take a computer class in high school. They will teach you these kinds of topics, and um, uh, it's really important later on when, if you if you go on with computer science and you study some more, we get into some advanced things like microprocessor programming, assembly language programming, things like that. This is extremely important to be able to express everything in uh, in binary because everything is done uh, in binary with computers. I myself am a, a computer scientist. I'm not a mathematician. Um, and uh, this, this method I'm going to be showing you today, I find it to be very simple. I find it to be the simplest method. And I've taken uh, um, several classes on, uh, on how to do this and, and learn some different methods. You can also do this with division. But I, I steer away from division because um, it's more error prone than this this method than just subtraction and addition. Uh, similarly, uh, multiplication is more error prone, error prone as well, and it's just messier. This is an easier way to do it. Okay, so let's um, let's get started. So the first number that we're going to do, uh, it's just a small number, it'll be uh, easy to convert, will be the number 18. Okay, so we have 18 in, uh, in decimal or base 10, and we're going to convert that to its binary equivalent. So the first thing I do when I'm converting any number to, uh, to binary is I write out uh, the 2 to the power chart and what the equivalencies are of, of the different 2 to the power numbers. So I start with um, 2 to the power of 0, which is obviously 1, 2 to the power of 1, 2, 2 to the power of 2, 4, 2 to the power of 3, 8, 2 to the power of 4, 16, 2 to the power of 5, 32, 2 to the power of 6, 64, 2 to the power of 7 would be 28, 2 to the power of, uh, of 8, 256, and 2 to the power of 9, excuse me, 512. And uh, you'll find for most of the questions that you get on your, on your test and that kind of stuff, they're not going to go above 2 to the 9 or 512. Sometimes they'll go 2 to the 10, 1024, uh, give you numbers in the thousands, but you can just continue this chart on for that, and you'll get the numbers too. So you go basically 2 to the 10, and you just 1024, and then 2048, and then you just keep doubling it on to whatever number you need. Now here's how the method works. Okay, so you have 18, you want to convert that to its uh, binary equivalent. So basically, you just look at the chart right away, and it'll tell you pretty much what you're going to need to to use to make up the number 18. Uh, and this is how I always do it. You should always start at the uh, the leftmost side and go inwards to uh, to 2 to the 0 or to 1. And uh, what you're going to do is, is you're going to look for a number that's just less than, the closest number less than 18. So 512 to 32 is all greater than 18, so we're not going to use any of those. Okay, so if you have to represent those, you represent them as 0. It means you're not really using them. Um, sort of like a light switch analogy. Uh, one in computers is on, zero is off. Okay, so uh, we're going to start here pretty much. Uh, 32 is greater than 18, but uh, 16 is less than 18. So we're going to use a 16. So write a 1 down for 16 or 2 to the power of 4. And then what we do then is because we're using a 16, we're going to subtract that from 18. Okay, so that leaves us with 2. All right, and this is uh, very simple to do. Now we get 2, um, 2, obviously less than 8, so we won't use an 8, so we're going to write 0 for that. 4, greater than 2, we won't use a 4, write a 0 for that. 2, equivalent to 2, so we're going to use we're going to use that. So you go 2 minus, and that gives you 0, and we're done. We're not going to use a 1 because 1 is greater than 0. And there is your number, so you get 18 is equivalent to 1, 0, 0, one zero, and if you ever see on a test or anything, if a teacher is giving you a binary number and he gives you zero uh, some zeros in front, so you have like for example this is one two three four five digits. So oftentimes what you'll see is you'll get numbers like this, and the reason why they do that is because 
they're just grouping the binary numbers just to make more sense, similar to how we group thousands in uh, in decimal form. And this basically is just, you know, you have four uh, digits here, four digits here, so you have eight total, which is equivalent to, so it's eight, in computers we call them bits, which is a one or zero, uh, equivalent to basically uh, one byte. Capital B denotes the byte, smaller bits, um, you can denote it by you can go like 8 bs. A lowercase b denotes bits, or you can just write it out. But that's one byte. And often they do that, um, you know, in they group these together. You know, you are just converting the number, so you can. This is right. This isn't wrong. Um, but sometimes they put zeros in front, so now you basically, you know, why they do that. Okay. Uh, now let's do another example with a a bigger number, and then really quickly, I'll show you how to convert back. So uh, converting back is the easiest, the easiest thing ever once you have your chart. Um, so again, um, let's write out our number chart first. So if you can see this here, 2 to the 0, 2 to the 1, 2 to the 2, 2 to the 3, 2 to the 4, that's a 3, 2 to the 5, 2 to the 6, 2 to the 7, 2 to the 8, 2 to the 9, 2 to the 10. Okay, and then you just basically write them out. Double each time. 64, 28, 256, 512, and 1024. And oftentimes, if a lot of you guys are in uh, into computers and that kind of stuff, you'll notice that everything is represented in base 2. If you go out and you buy a RAM or you buy a hard drive and it says it's, you know, um, 512 megabytes of RAM or 1 gig of RAM, well, 1 gig is not 1,000, it's 1,024. Okay, and one terabyte, and that's, you know, 1,024 um, gigabytes. And that's, that's basically uh, how, how it goes with computers. Everything is represented in base 2. The reason why is because um, your processors, uh, all they do is basically add um, uh, base, two, base 2 numbers or, or uh, bytes, bits, that kind of stuff. That's all they do. That's all they worry about. Uh, anyway, I don't want to confuse you, so let's keep it uh, very simple. So let's do a bigger number now. Let's do the number, let's do, hmm, let's do the number 677. Seven. Let's give you a random number. Let's convert that to binary. So 677, as we start, we look again, and we see that 1024 is bigger than uh, 677, so we're not going to use that. But uh, 512 is the closest number to it without going over. So let's use the 512. Okay, so you write a 1 down there, and you basically very simply 677 minus 512. We get 5, we get 6, we get 1. We get 165 remainder. Okay, 165 now, uh, less than uh, 256, so we're not going to use that. So 0, so don't use that. And the next nearest number is 128, so we will use a 128. Okay, so you got the 128, and then you just basically go through simple subtraction. 730, that's a 7. By the way, okay, so now we got 37. So again, 64 greater than 37. We're not going to use that. We will use the 32. Okay, so check off the 32. We put a 1 there for the 32, and then we, we subtract down. So we're left with very simply 5. 5 is uh, less than 16, so we won't use 16. 5 is less than 8, we won't use an 8. We will use a 4, and obviously. 5 minus 4, equivalent to 1, just to show you, I'm just doing this to show you the, um, the pattern here of how you do this. And we're left with 1, so 0 and 1, and we have our equivalent of the number 677 in binary, which is equivalent to 1010, 1001, 0, 1. And that is our answer. Okay. Now, very quickly, and I say very quickly because it, it is quick to do this. If you want to transfer back, if you want to translate back, if, you, if the teacher gives you a binary number, let's say the number, oh, I don't know. Um, let's just make up some random numbers, 1010111. Zero, one, zero, one, one, one. Okay, uh, let's add a zero. Okay, uh, all you have to do is very simply use your to, convert, your to the power conversion chart and literally just write the numbers in and add them up. So... 2 to the 0, we're not going to use, we will use this, so use you, okay, 1, 1, that's 3 ones. 0, 1, 0, 1, 
So that's 10, 10, one, one, zero. Very simply.